clearly, <laughs> you guys were able to start the game uh, the other night in Edmonton, start the season the way that you wanted to. So I guess uh, in this uh, never-ending, what have you done for me lately? Uh, what do you do for an encore tonight at, on the in the home opener? Well, I think it's uh, obviously we're happy with our starts. Um, you know, 81 games to go. There's so much hockey left. Uh, you can't. I guess rest on on a good win and a good effort but um you know it should give us some confidence that uh we did a lot of good things um being that it was game one there's a lot of things we can clean up as well so um you know trying to build our game uh, every day and look at ways we can get better every single day so um coming home here you know everyone's excited for the home opener it's always a little bit extra going on so uh just try to focus on uh each individual job uh what the game plan is and you know, come out here um, and be better than we were last game um, in, in this one tonight. In terms of matchups, this Chicago team in particular, now they've made you know, significant changes to their roster, but they were a tough uh, nut to crack for you guys last year, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think they're well coached. And, um, you know, when you watch those guys against us last year, as you mentioned, it's a new year. We have new guys, so do they. But um, in our experience against them last year, uh, I didn't think the standings always reflected the way that they played. Uh, they played hard defensively and committed to, um, you know, making it a, a difficult game for us to to try to create offense. Um, you know, especially with uh, you know they got off to a bad start last year and we're down in the standings. But um, you know that's where a lot of teams will, you know, just start looking for self stats and kind of opening up the game. And I felt like they, uh, you know, were pretty committed to team team uh, system. So. Um, you know, we can expect that again tonight, uh, I'm sure, and, uh, you know, we have to be ready to go. So much conversation in the offseason and preseason about the power play. I know it was a small sample size, but what did you think of it on, on Wednesday? Yeah, obviously you want to get off to a good start with the special teams and not be behind it. Um, you know, I think uh, just there's some new ideas for us this year that I think everyone's really buying into. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of talented players out there. Uh, it's just about you know executing, working fast, and being on the same page. So, um, you know, like I said, uh, or like you said, rather, it was one game, and uh, but it should give us confidence here to, to keep working on it. You know, um, again, it's it's just like our team game, like our penalty kill, power play, individual games. Uh, you know, a lot of good things, but we have to keep building every day, and that's something that we're going to work on uh, to keep. Uh, you know, trying to make it a strength of our team. Josh, for you, penalty kill was a big part of your career early on. I mean, what's it like to get that back uh, in the portfolio? Yeah, it's been a little while since I've been out on the kill, um, but it's something that, uh, you know, when Arnie took over this summer, we talked about, and then Dean, you know, running the back end and running the penalty kill. Um, my first conversations with him, he kind of brought it up to me as, you know, is it something I'd be interested in? And, uh, you know, obviously you want to get out there as much as possible, so of course, but, um, you know, definitely something that, uh, you know, we want to, again, our special teams, we want to make a strength of our team, uh, along with our five-on-five -five game, so... Um, you know, I want to be a part of, uh, of that unit and trying to, you know, improve our numbers from last season. So um, it's a challenge that, like you said, I, uh, you know, kind of broke into the league doing the first three years. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll do anything the team asked me, but certainly when they presented that, it was uh, something I wanted to, to do again and add to my game. What do you enjoy most about it? I mean, and being an offensive player, what are the benefits to kind of knowing how, what it's like on the other side running the power play when you're going up against one? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if you, you know, just watching our kill, we're trying to be more aggressive this year, and I think that suits my style. Um, so, you know, making those anticipation reads and trying to be ag aggressive at the right times, obviously, you know, not getting out of position or, um, you know, at the wrong, but when there's an opportunity to, to um, you know, try and get all four guys being aggressive, that's, uh, we've got a lot of, we've got a fast team, in my opinion, a lot of fast penalty killers, and so, um, you know, those anticipation reads, I think, from being on the power play and, and trying to, you know, think what they're thinking a little bit, you know, um, probably helps. Uh, but like I said, I think more the anticipation uh, that our whole kill is trying to play with, um, you know, suits this, the guys we have here, and I think it suits me as well. I know you didn't play a ton last year. It was like to see Rasmus Kapari uh, get his first in 70 games the other night. Yeah, it was awesome. You know what? He's uh, obviously he's a young guy, and... Um, you know, last year didn't maybe go the way he wanted to offensively, but uh, thought he had a really good training camp. And, um, you know, that whole shift, that line, uh, along with throughout that game, I thought were, were difficult to handle. Uh, they've got some speed and size, and they're tenacious. So they won a bunch of battles, you know, extended that shift, kind of had Edmonton tired. And then, you know, Coop makes a great read, uh, 
you know, using his speed and feet and beating uh, their guys back to the net. And, um, you know, it was nice to see him get that one for sure. Does he owe you a steak dinner after a pass like that? <laughs> <laughs> we haven't talked about that, but, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I'll have to bring that up. But, uh, yeah, I'm always open for a free dinner, sure. <laughs>